Hello YouTubers, it's Champion DJK coming at you yet again with another weekly episode. And per usual, I got a pile of stuff to show you. All right, so um, let's just get right into it. Well, first of all, I did kind of post a lot of videos this last week. Um, so hopefully you check some of those out. Um, sorry if I uh, posted too many, too many to watch, but there was just a lot going on, so I had to post them. Um, including the ones from the convention, which I did have a good time at the convention. Um, so if you didn't check those out, check those out. My convention hall was pretty, pretty awesome and all of that. Speaking of that, I forgot in the uh, convention experience video, I was going to um, open this uh, Mercury Cougar and I totally, for <laughs> totally forgot to do it. So we are going to open up that uh, right away in the second uh, segment of this video unless I forget again. All right, so that was that. Um, I got a bunch of mail in this last week. Well, not a bunch, but five Kyoshos. Kind of went a little crazy on eBay again. And then this all this stuff kind of finally showed up at once. Uh, starting with this one here. And of course, we're gonna look at these Kyoshos uh, nice, close, and in detail. Uh, during the second half of the video, so stay tuned for that per usual. Um, so we got this one right here, this Jaguar. This is a very interesting car, and honestly, I really didn't know anything about it until I saw it pop up on eBay, and then uh, I ended up looking the car up, and it's actually quite quite neat. So uh, I, maybe I'll talk a little bit more about that in the second segment, but it's a really cool car, and uh, uh, we'll talk about that. Um, but yeah, really cool Kyosho. And then another one here. Uh, this one is a Lambo Lamborghini Yarama. Needed that. I'm trying to get an example of basically every Kyosho Lamborghini tooling. Um, so I needed this one. I need the Espada. And I want to get the Espada, I think, in silver as well. Uh, for some reason, that's like the more popular um, oddball Lambo. Uh, for Kyosho, so sometimes those go for a little bit more money, so they're kind of harder to get. Um, this one here, which is kind of a plain Jane, but um, it was cheap. Uh, this is an Audi A5 in white. Basic car, but very nice little Kyosho. So, of course, we're going to take a peek at that. And then, from another seller... I actually, this is the car I ordered, this Kyosho uh, Volkswagen Golf GTI in green, which uh, my buddy Tor gave me a Volkswagen Golf GTI in white under the Salido brand, which is the same tooling as this. We're just going to look at this one today. I'm still going to do a video on those Salidos, and uh, when I do that, I will compare it to this, but we are going to look at this one today. So I ordered this one. They shipped me the wrong car, which was this McLaren uh, 12C in silver. So I got to pay for this one yet. I think they're going to charge me eight bucks for it, which is not a big deal or whatever. Um, this is definitely a car I, I don't mind having, and it's in silver, and I, you know, I love die cast in silver, so don't mind it. So those are the five Kyoshos. We will look at all five of those. Uh, nice, close, and in detail coming up here in a moment. Um, then the rest of this stuff, I don't know what here I'm going to actually open and look at in the second segment and what I'm not going to look at. We may not look at much of any of it, but I'm going to show you what I got. So first of all, from uh, Ryan Parker sent me this as a little REOK, just a Chevy van, a Matchbox, one I didn't have. Actually, I think I do have this van, but my van is messed up. Like the tampos are all screwed up on it. So I think we'll open up this one. Um, in the second segment, just to take a look and, and see how clean those tampos are. Um, and then I got the rest of this stuff. I'm pretty sure the rest of this stuff I got from one of my other buddies here in town. Um, and there's a bunch of it. Most of this is going to be reserved for 10 Car Tuesdays, except for uh, these two right here. I've got this uh, Volkswagen T2 bus Matchbox 60th anniversary com 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 can't spell I can't talk right now commemorative edition uh, so this one right here um, I think I already have it actually 
So, um, Shuresh, this is probably right up your alley, maybe. You might enjoy this. So if you if you want this, let me know, um, and uh, I'll hook you up with that. Same thing with this uh, Ford GT in white. I think I have this one, too, this super fast one. And if I don't, um, Todd, you'd probably enjoy that. So um, we'll see if I got it or not. And Todd, you might actually have it. I wouldn't doubt that you do. Um, all right. And then we got, so I guess we'll stick with Matchbox for a second. Uh, picked up these two Dodge Challenger SRT8s, uh, one in orange and one in yellow. Um, very cool casting. You will see these in a future 10 car Tuesday is likely where those will pop up and be opened. Same with this Matchbox here. This is a uh, Matchbox uh, 56 Buick Century police car. It's kind of nice. So that'll that'll show up in a Matchbox like 10 car Tuesday eventually in the future. Um, and then I've got this one here. I think we're going to open this one. Uh, this is a Hot Wheels Racing, the stock car series. This is the 57 Plymouth. And that looks really cool. Did I open... I found another 57 Plymouth at the convention that was maroon. You know what? I didn't open it. So, I'm not sure. We may not open this one because I might want to put it in with that one in another 10 car Tuesday. I don't know. We'll see. We'll see what happens. I'm going to set it there for now. And then some other Hot Wheels. We've got the Toyota pickup truck from the Hot Wheels showroom series, whatever, Mainline 2013. I just don't think I had this one, so I grabbed it. I like the casting, uh, so I picked it up. That'll show up in 10 Car Tuesday. Um, and then same with these. This one is a Nissan 370Z uh, from 2010 new models in yellow. So I'll show that one. And then a BMW 2002 from 2013 in plain green. It looks really nice and green. Is that missing? No, it's not missing a tampo, is it? It looks like it's got a stripe on it in the photo. And it also has green stripes down here in the photo. Somebody, I didn't look this up. Someone let me know if this is an error. Otherwise, I'm going to pull it up after the video and see... If this is an error. Either way, I'm not going to open it up in the second segment. Um, it looks good in that plain, plain green color. And then I picked up this uh, 1970 Buick GSX. Just thought that was a nice looking one, so I grabbed that. Again, that'll be in a 10 car 2 All right, and then I got one green light from him. This is 1970 Dodge Charger from GL Muscle uh, Series 17. It's a Dodge Charger with a blown motor. Looks very uh, Fast and Furious-esque. And uh, this I'll probably pop into it. I have a green light 10 car Tuesday for sure. Banked, probably like two of them actually. So this is probably gonna show up in one of those episodes. And when we're open it, we'll take a look at it. And then I got a bunch of Johnny Lightning. And these always pretty much now, when I get these older Johnny Lightning, these are gonna show up in 10 car Tuesday episodes. With the exception of this one right here, because this is actually a duplicate. This Pontiac GTO. Um, so I already have it. I've actually got it, both wheel variations of it, both the rubber wheel one and the uh, plastic wheel one. So this one I'll end up probably trading away to, I don't know, maybe Martin Hot Wheels Hunter. You got, you'd probably enjoy that one. Um, and that's probably what's going to happen with those. I ended up getting uh, two. Oh, these are both Dodge Vipers. One is the Dodge Viper GTS model. blue with white stripes looks pretty good and then i've got this one here this is the dodge viper just the rt10 i think it's the first gen viper i think it's the first johnny lightning casting anyway put out this is in black it's got an opening hood uh i don't really like that casting that much but the price was right on these johnnies and i ended up picking them up uh, pretty cheap i think i paid like three dollars each for them and then this one here this is a 70, this is a cool one. This is a 73 Chevy Capri, Caprice Wagon, uh, 13 Customs. That looks pretty awesome. So look forward to seeing that loose in some future 10 Car Tuesday episode, um, as well as this one looks great too. This is the 79 International Scout, Scout 2 
in this Johnny Lightning Truck in America series, and it's in chrome. Um, very cool. Uh, the packaging on all of these is pretty scuffed up, or, you know, it's not in super good shape, but you guys know that that's perfect for me. If I can get things cheap and it's on a junk package, it makes no difference to me. I'm going to I'm gonna pick them up. Here's a 64 Pontiac GTO in a Street Freak series as a spoiler. Um, definitely will, this will show up in a 10 car Tuesday. All these will. Um, including this 1965 VW Transporter Ambulance. This is on one of those little tiny card uh, Johnny Lightnings. Pretty cool. Pretty cool indeed. And then uh, we got a 55 Chevy Nomad in the Scraping series of Street Freaks. Would like to see this series of Street Freaks come back. Um, I don't think they've put out anything new in the Scraping series, which is kind of cool. They had those like little like low rider wheels. I think they, I don't know, that looks <laughs> that looks pretty neat. So that'll show up in a 10 car Tuesday. And then lastly, this one right here, which is the 1983 Oldsmobile Cutlass Supreme. Don't collect Coke stuff, but I like this casting a lot from Johnny Lightning, so I had to pick it up. And there it is, Coca-Cola. 2005 calendar cards. Johnny Lightning put out a lot of Coca-Cola stuff. And um, all right, so what are we gonna do? I got a convention piece. We got five Kyo shows. We got that van. Then I think yes, we will open this. This one right here. This one is from the uh, Pop Wheels Fright Car series, but it's also a Plymouth Fury. So I think we'll open up these together I think these are the same casting one has a plastic base one of them doesn't this is actually the tooling that they used for Christine I believe in the retro entertainment so that's kind of interesting maybe I should get that out too if I can quickly find it might have to do that um, yeah so we'll be looking at a few things here in the second segment so stay tuned we're gonna go ahead and flip the camera around and uh, yeah we'll see you in a moment all right, well, let's start by opening up this 68 Mercury Cougar Hot Wheels Collector's Convention, September 30th through October 4th, 2015, Los Angeles, California. This was, I believe, the finale car. Or was it the dinner car? Either way, it was limited quite a bit to only 1,500 pieces. Uh, for some reason, this may have not been super popular. Um, I love this casting. I'm a huge fan of it. Um, and this is basically the last one I needed to be caught up now until uh, this most recent super treasure hunt that is going to be coming out. Hopefully it will pop out sometime soon in my area and hopefully I will be able to find it. Um, if I can't find it, it's one I'm definitely going to have to get. Uh, so without further ado, let's open this one up because I forgot to open it up in that last video and I apologize about that. So let's go ahead and open her. There she is in all of its glory. I'm kind of glad. One thing cool about convention cars is they don't do everything in like a Spectre Flame paint. So you get some really nice premium details without necessarily having that uh, Spectre Flame. And I like the Spectre Flame over Chrome. It's just that it's harder to handle those because you put fingerprints all over them. This one I don't have to worry about so much. But I love this tooling. I really like this casting quite a bit. I would like to see this tooling again in another premium release with a metal body. I'm just a fan of it. So I know it may not be the most exciting casting to a lot of people, but uh, I really like it and I enjoy it and I collect it. So I was really happy to get this piece um, and check this finally off the list, you know, years later after it's come out. So just a cool piece and uh, happy to have it interestingly too when I was at the convention there really wasn't I didn't really see any I th maybe saw one of these in somebody's room I didn't really see these all over well obviously there's only 1500 of them so but they were available there just to buy brand new so I don't know interesting it's very limited for a Hot Wheel so I just don't understand it I don't understand why people wouldn't dig it more because I love it. So there's that piece. Dig it. 
glad to edit to the collection. It's going to go in a case. Um, then let's like stick with Hot Wheels for a moment. So here's that Plymouth Fury. Fury. This is the Christine version of it. And I believe these are the same toolings, basically. I know this first one's going to be a plastic base, so it's going to be slightly different. The tooling for the base will be different. Uh, so this is Hot Wheels Fright Cars. It appears these came out in, well, copyright date 2007, so likely 2008. So let's go ahead and open this one up. Uh, now this is a car, if you've watched my channel for a long time. Um, this is a car and a tooling that I've been able to put headlights in and make look pretty cool. I'm not going to do that with these, but... Uh, it was a really fun project that started with the uh, radar 468 I made him a version of Christine with headlights and you know what uh, wait at some point I should make you another one better because now I know how to do it a little bit better than when I did it that first time we did some weird stuff but if you ever want to look back at that that Christine project it's on my channel still and uh, you probably can find it it was a really wacky way of putting headlights in cars with some fiber optics and stuff like that. I was really experimenting with it, but it did kind of turn out pretty cool. And uh, uh, if I had to do it over again, I've got a totally different way of doing it, but really cool. And then I made a version of this car with headlights for uh, Martin, the Hot Wheels Hunter. I did one with a plastic base. It was much easier to work with the plastic base, but I think I could apply what I did to the plastic base uh, to the metal base and put headlights in that car. So, just I'm really tempted to get back into customizing, guys. I mean, I know I don't have really much time for it, but uh, winning second place at the Nationals for the Amateur Spicy Competition and uh, getting a little custom kit from uh, Battle Styles, Spital Style SPL. It's kind of got a bug, bug in my brain. All right, this one, though, is super cool. Savoy Plaza Racing, this 57 Plymouth 2012 stock car Hot Wheels Racing series. Um, this is a series, I don't know, I don't think I have any of these other cars from it. Um, looking at the six on the back here, and that's too bad because they're probably difficult to find now. But this thing is sweet. And yeah, it is, right? It's the same tooling. Yeah. I think it is, right? This one seems to sit a bit higher than this one does. I don't know if that's just because of the wheels. Let's take a look at the base. Actually, I don't think it is the same tool. It's not. Uh, no, it isn't. It's actually closer. None of these are the same tooling, really. This is definitely slightly different. So this is almost like the metal base version of this tooling. And this one for Christine actually is quite a bit different. The headlights are different. The grill is different. Um, very close to the same. Uh, so the B pillar here, nothing there interesting so slightly different slightly different toolings actually i did not know that but either way very cool cars and this one's actually my favorite i like it all right and yeah we got white lighter firestone tires that's really cool all right so let's get into some kyosho let's start with this mclaren right here um the mclaren 12c you guys know I've been digging on Kyosho for the past year or two. And so these would be the colors that it would be available in. Silver, orange, and matte black. Um, this one, of course, is the silver. I love the way these things are packaged. They're very cool. Axle looks a little off-center here. I wonder if once we take it off the base, that will improve. These are very easy to take off the base again. One screw. And it is off the base. And this one's not a great roller. Not all Kyoshos are. A lot of them are more static displays, but you can kind of get it where the wheels are a little bit more in the center. It does look nice. So th this was an unintended purchase, but... I can't say I'm upset with it. So pretty plain looking base. It does have, it is put together with screws. So I could take it apart and kind of 
monkey with it a little bit to get it to look a little bit better, but it seems like the axles are just a little bit loose in there, so they kind of rock back and forth. Kind of got this plastic insert back for the tail end, and then you've got uh, inserts for the headlights. And all in all, it looks pretty good. It's not my favorite McLaren, but uh, I don't know. That's going to join the Kyosho, Kyosho collection, and that's definitely going to stay. So kind of cool, happy little accident getting that one. Kind of Bob Ross thing going on there. All right, so and then this one here. So this is more, I like this packaging from Kyosho. I don't know when these came out or if these are like I'm kind of confused actually because I know Kyosho now is going to start sending stuff to hobby dealers in the US at least that's what I heard and what I think they're doing is like re-releasing I could be way wrong on this okay I think they're re-releasing them older castings or older colors of stuff in uh, different packaging in the US would never go for this blind packaging that these other ones are in where they come in a box where you can't see it so I know they've been toying around with other packaging somebody that watches my channel will definitely tell set me straight on this but I believe these came out already in a series uh, overseas with that other style packaging but here it is with the acrylic case packaging, and this is the Golf GTI. Um, grab my screwdriver here. Got it away from me. Uh, still one, one screw in the base. Very nice and easy. They're never usually never in too tight either. This will come right out. Unlike hot, like a lot of Hot Wheels that have a screw in the base that use those acrylic cases. Sometimes it's really tough to get the screw out. This one's a pretty good roller, and very nice looking tooling uh, so you do have uh, the lens inserts for the taillights you have the lens inserts for the headlights it's a really cool little car this one is riveted you get a little bit of detail on the base which a lot of Kyoshos don't you got the side mirror only on one side which is accurate and um, it is a left-hand drive Uh, that's I don't know I think that's a really nice looking car um, definitely the generation of golf that I dig the most I like that one what do you guys think about this one I think that's sweet so it'd be cool to get the one out in white that's marketed as a Salido model to see what that looks like in comparison um, so look out for that video when we get to that one uh, but very very cool keep her moving here and then uh, this is the Lamborghini Yarama Harama silver uh, this one I don't think, did it come with a card yeah. most of these come with these cards that will tell you the other colors it was available in. and most often they're available in three colors so this is the one that's available in red white or silver uh, silver out of those colors is definitely the one that I wanted so I'm glad I got it I've bid on a couple of these and lost uh, so it was nice to get this one and actually get it in the color that I wanted so here it is in silver looking quite nice I love these old Lambos these old obscure Lamborghinis like this one uh, so this one again you get uh, lens inserts on the tail uh, you get sort of these insert headlight covers in the front now of course with Kyosho Kyosho never really has any opening parts um, they don't typically the bases aren't super detailed and the bases are plastic but that really doesn't matter to me I mean a metal base doesn't necessarily add a whole ton I'd rather have the detail and Kyosho's are a very af I guess a very affordable option of a very nicely detailed car at least a lot of them are some of them can get very expensive um, but for the most part they're not bad and uh, you can get a lot of really cool cars they've released a lot of cars that I am interested in and that's why I really like the brand because the of the catalog of toolings that they have there's so many really cool cars that I really like that that are just right up my alley and that's why I collect a lot of Kyosho and I think they're great 
you guys also know I'm into Auto World quite a bit for detailed toolings. If they started putting out like Euro cars like this, it would be all over. Also, Tomica Limited Vintage, if they did a lot more Euro cars, I know that F40 has just been insane. People have been posting stuff about it, and uh, it's such a beautiful casting, and actually probably my favorite piece currently in my collection. Um, if they did more like Euro stuff and kind of more sports car stuff, uh, they would just they would they would just <laughs> own it. So <laughs> almost glad that they don't though, because I would be I would be broke. So beautiful looking car, I really like it. And uh, next up, let's look a look at this Audi A5, kind of a plain Jane car as far as for my standards but I got it because it was cheap and it looked good here's the other colors it would be available in there's a blue there's a silver and then this white one that you're looking at here and I think out of the three actually white is a really nice color for this car uh, we'll go ahead and put pop it off the base here this one feels really solid And Kyosho's been around for a long time, so and I'm not really schooled on when different series came out, like what years they came out. So this is a Kyosho made in China, 1960 or 1964, 164 scale Audi A5. It is riveted in construction. Some of them are riveted, some of them are screwed together. I don't know. There's been some talk about possible counterfeit Kyoshos being out there too. I mean, I guess that's something that could happen. I just don't really see why someone would do that how lucrative that would really be um, but maybe I don't know I don't, this looks really nice though for just a simple car there's, no, there's nothing really flashy about it but I really like it get this little insert for the grill you get insert for headlights insert for tail lamps it looks really good there's no real flaw in it or anything you even get like the little blinker uh side marker things on the side mirrors so very detailed uh typically kiosha's are going to have all black interiors um, i'm pre pretty sure they always have just a black interior uh, they got a lot of sculpted detail in there but typically not too much as far as there's no like color or anything like that so they really just focus on the detail from the outside of the car um, so they don't really usually do much with the base and again the base is plastic but the wheels always look pretty good the stance usually looks really good and the outside of the car uh, looks fantastic so for the money and for again the selection of cars that is provided by them um, they they look really good so that's why i'm a big fan of the brand i I don't know, man. It looks sharp. It looks good. It looks great in this white color. Just, I don't know. Just a nice look. Nice look. Nice looking car. All right. So let's carry on. And then this thing right here, this Jaguar XJR15. Um, if you want an interesting uh, thing to watch, you should go to uh, Jay Leno's Garage and look up this car um, and then you can kind of go down the rabbit hole with it. there's a few other videos about this car I'm not going to get into the detail of exactly what it was but this was basically this was a predecessor to the McLaren F1 and before the McLaren F1 came out this was basically going this was the fastest car um, there's a lot of I, th I think there's a claim that this also is the first um, all carbon fiber car all carbon fiber road car the XGR 15 um, so I think there was an XGR 15 like F1 model too and I think it did win um, Le Mans um, I could be off on that too I'm just going off of memory here and I didn't really brush up before filming this video uh, but I just thought it was a pretty awesome looking car and apparently it's a scary car to drive According to what I've what I watched, kind of a crazy car to drive. Um, 
it's not like you sit in the center like a McLaren F1, but you sit very close to the center. As you can kind of see, there's where the steering wheel is. It's like very, very tucked in, so there's a very wide sill on each side of the car. There is room for one passenger. Uh, the mirrors on here aren't on 100% straight. You see one's kind of off at an angle. Ooh, actually can move it. So it might not be glued in there super good. But that's no matter really. Um, and sometimes I debate on the whether they should even put mirrors on some of these cars because they're just plastic and I feel like they're fragile. But this one, yeah, you can move it around because it's not really glued in there. But it's better than breaking it off. So really cool in orange. Again, you get lens detail in the in the back part. You get some uh, lens detail up front for the headlights. Just a really cool, unique looking car. And if you watch my channel, you kind of see what kind of Kyoshos I typically pick up. It's it's these kind of weird one-off um, kind of supercars or concept cars that came out. I like stuff, really like stuff from like the 70s and then um, and stuff from the 80s and into the early 90s. It's just, <laughs> some, it's just a really cool kind of design stuff going on with the, the cars of that day. It's kind of wild, just wild looking. And this thing looks pretty wild. Very curvy, but very, very cool. I just, I, I really like it. I really enjoy it. So let me know what you think, guys think of this thing uh, in the comments. I, I want to take some really cool pictures of this one for sure. Um, so hopefully I'll get to that sometime soon. All right, so there is that. And I think that's pretty much all we got, except for let's just open this van real quick. This Matchbox van. Um, so hey we managed to keep it under 40 minutes this time for a weekly video which is good so thank you again ryan for this tampos are perfect on this one beautiful you guys know i dig my vans i just like too much stuff i like too much stuff i don't know what to do i my collection is getting out of hand and i know i've mentioned that a couple of times on this thing I just don't know how to slim it down because every time I try to look at something and think about getting rid of them like oh well maybe maybe I'll need it for a future video um, or you know I just don't know maybe I'll, you know I just I have I'm kind of a I'm not really a hoarder but uh, it's just tough for me to part with anything um, so yeah it is what it is all right so that's gonna be it for this vid guys i would say my favorite car of this video at least for hot wheels wise is definitely this one here um if i had to pick a kyosho for the favorite you guys know it's going to be this one that i just showed um but ah, man this thing is sweet too really cool cars added to the collection this week so all right so again thank you guys very much stay tuned for more videos um, we got some 10 car Tuesdays coming up that are going to be pretty awesome. I've got a ton prepared. Um, if you want to get a quick glimpse of that, I'm going to take a look over here in the shelf. These are all um, 10 car Tuesday videos that are ready to rock. Um, so I've got a lot of things planned in that way. And then that's all Hot Wheels over there. And then I've got at least three uh, Johnny Lightning ones that I could do. And then I think I've got at least three green light ones as well. So we're, we're going to mix it up and do some different stuff. Um, I shouldn't say that's all Hot Wheels over there. There is some Matchbox over there too. But yeah, so stay tuned for that. I've got a cool vintage Matchbox Monday episode coming up here. I'm going to have two episodes actually coming up that are going to be um, kind of real vintage Hot Wheels, or real vintage Matchbox, but they're going to be beaters. So they're going to be some old school kind of chipped up stuff, but it's going to be kind of interesting to look at them. So uh, check those out too. And uh, of course, please uh, like, comment, subscribe. Always love reading the comments. Um, and thank you for subscribing. Thank you for watching and have a great evening.